The Secure the Border Act is now headed to voters here in Arizona. The State House of Representatives approved it Tuesday with party lines after an hours long vote. News for Tucson's Robbie Reynolds has more. Protests outside the House of Representatives. Vowing to campaign against HCR 2060, the Secure the Border Act, outside because in the People's House, Tuesday, June 4th, the people weren't allowed in. The gallery was closed to the public by order of the House Speaker. They were advertising what they were going to do uh, on social media and they were recruiting on social media. And further, there were allegations that there were members from this very chamber colluding with them. To, 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 to cause chaos. That was the start of a long and contentious vote on a controversial bill. HCR 2060 would make it a state crime to cross the border anywhere other than a port of entry. And it would let any police officer arrest those suspected of illegal crossing. It also gives police blanket immunity when enforcing it. Another provision enhances penalties for anyone who sells fentanyl that kills someone. I'll give you a chance to uh, clarify your On the comment. House floor, questions about legality, constitutionality, and racial profiling. Met with concerns about border security and safety. This is a question for the voters. Why are we sending this to the voters? Well, we know that the dangers at the border are real. I don't need to go and post a picture about how I'm going to fix the border when I'm a state legislator, not a member of Congress. I think my colleagues are forgetting the role that we play here as legislators, and I'm truly frustrated with my colleagues who have law degrees. We talk about protecting people. We're racists. Are you kidding me here, folks? This is about life and humanity. Two things can be true at once. We can acknowledge the need for comprehensive immigration reform and increased border security while recognizing that this bill is not the way.